How many milligrams are in these drops? I have no idea. I'm lost. Hi, my name is Dane. I'm a pharmacist here at MD Customer X Pharmacy. Today we're going to discuss methylene blue dosing, particularly in like, let's say a 1% solution. Well, in fact, that's what we'll be talking about as our example. So I'll teach you exactly how many milligrams are in your 1% solution of methylene blue per drop. Okay, let's get into it. Imagine this is a 1% methylene blue solution. Now it doesn't matter how much is in here. We know that the concentration is 1%. Okay. Well, the cool thing about weight per volume uh, dosing or concentration is water. Well, water is roughly one gram per ml. So we actually use that and apply that to the solution. What is 1% of one gram? Well, the easiest way to think about this, it's a few steps, but there is a thousand milligrams in one gram. 1% 1 of a thousand is 10. So we can deduce that there is 10 milligrams per ml of methylene blue in a 1% solution. Again, there is 10 milligrams per milliliter of a 1% methylene blue solution. Now, next question. Well, I have a dropper. I can't tell how many milliliters. Some people have lines on their droppers. Some people just have to go by the drops themselves. There are two schools of thought for drops. There are some people that go with the saying 20 drops per milliliter. So there'd be 20 drops per milliliter. And some people go with 15 drops per milliliter. I'll tell you the math for both. So if we have 10 milligrams of methylene blue per milliliter, and we have 20 drops per milliliter, one drop is 0 0.5 milligrams of methylene blue. Again, that's at 20 drops. So how we got that was we took 10 milligrams per milliliter divided by 20 drops per milliliter. So 10 divided by 20 is 0 0.5. That is 0 0.5 milligrams of methylene blue per drop. Now, if you are of the camp that thinks there are 15 drops per milliliter, that math actually works out to 0 0.66 milligrams of methylene blue per drop. Again, this is a 1% solution you are between 0 0.5 milligrams of methylene blue to 0 0.66 milligrams of methylene blue per drop of your 1% solution. Now, how does this apply to, let's say, a daily dose? Well, most of the literature out there, and if you watch some of my older methylene blue videos, you'll see that the window for methylene blue dosing uh, is 0 0.5 milligrams per kilogram of body weight to four milligrams per kilogram of body weight daily. Well, there's 2.2 pounds in a kilogram. So to keep this kind of simple, let's imagine you weighed 220 pounds. That means you're 100 kilograms. So in order to do 0 0.5 milligrams per kilogram and you're 100 kilograms, you would do 0 0.5 times 100. That's going to give you 50 milligrams. So if we know that one drop of our 1% solution is 0 0.5 to 0 0.66 milligrams per drop, and I need 50 milligrams per day, you have to do 50 milligrams divided by each half milligram drop. That gives you 100 drops. So in order to get the lowest literature-based dosing, daily dosing, uh, at 0 0.5 milligrams per kilogram, if you're 220 pounds and you have a 1% solution, you would need 100 drops. Think about that, 100 drops. You're gonna sit there and do 100 drops. It'd be easier, of course, if you have a, um, a dropper that has a milliliter line on it, um, then you could just do two and a half milliliters, assuming there's 20 drops per milliliter. But what I'm getting at is, you know, you might find these online, they might be cheaper. It's a couple things to think about. Uh, one is it USP grade. USP grade anything is going to have the, the least amount of tolerance for any sort of impurities. Methylene blue can contain impurities, so you'd want USP grade. So one, are you getting USP grade? Two, is it truly cost effective? If at the lowest dose, I have to use 100 drops just to hit 0 0.5 milligrams per kilogram, I mean, am I running out of this bottle in, in three days? It's something to think about too. Now, to make this even crazier, let's imagine you wanted to go up to the, the max dose that has literature behind it at that four milligrams per kilogram. Now that's not for everybody, but some individuals might benefit from that. Now say you're that 220 pounds, so you're a hundred kilograms. You need four milligrams per kilogram. That's 400 milligrams. If we only get a half milligram of methylene blue per drop and you need 400 milligrams, 
That's 800 drops. That's just impractical. Now, I know a lot of people use the dropper and they're doing ultra low doses of methylene blue. That's fantastic. That's great. But again, a, a lot of the benefits come from a, a bit higher dosing. Um, nothing against using small doses. I think conservative is the, always the best way to go. Um, but you do want to titrate to therapeutic benefit, okay? Not just titrating against or away from side effect profile. But that's where risk reward comes in. So I hope that all made sense to recap. 1% solution is 10 milligrams per milliliter. There are 20 drops in a milliliter. Therefore, there is 0.5 milligrams per drop. Or if there's 15 drops in a milliliter, it's 0.66 milligrams per drop of 1% of methylene blue solutions. Thanks for your time. I hope this answered some of the questions. We get that question a lot. Feel free to reach out to us at any time. Take care.